Alright, welcome back to Spirit Tracks. Let's get going, for real this time. Yeah, I forgot, I have to talk to Angie, or however you pronounce her name, to actually get things rolling. To actually leave. Yeah, Engage, that's the next locomo's name. I think it's pretty self-explanatory. I love that little salute. He looks so formal. It doesn't work, though, without his engineer uniform, though. Oh, well. I actually did like that. I mean, like, in all sincerity, I actually li really like that outfit. And yeah, we don't usually see Link in too many different outfits, so it's always kind of nice. Well, I mean, no, nah, I mean, yeah, I guess, like, Skyward Sword. Well, yeah, Breath of the Wild, of course. There's, like, 50 different ones. And then there's uh, the Tri Triforce Heroes, I believe. Yeah, I had a lot. Yeah, I think that was, like, one of the main points of that game was you get to dress up Link in a whole bunch of different outfits. I think it was Triforce Heroes, right? It was one of those games I hadn't played, so I'm not really quite sure. Or Triforce Adventures, whatever it's called. Wait, what did I say? I meant Triforce Adventures, whatever I said. But, uh, yeah, so now I don't have to, like, manually turn the train, you know, each and every way. I can just draw out a route, and it does it automatically, which is pretty nice. Yeah, I won't be going to the town, because I can actually buy a shield in this, um, little town, uh, or the Hyle Castle town, not going there. But here in the, the little wooded area I'm going to, I can get myself a shield, so it's not necessary. And for the same price. Yeah, I, th I think you get it for, at the same price uh, at the Hyrule Castle Town. And the freaky-ass elephant thing. Elephant bird monster? Ugh, I don't like it. But yeah, but for now, all you can really do against enemies and obstacles is just blow your whistle at them. And it works. So there we go. Yeah, uh, so this episode is just me getting to the forest temple. Well, yeah, the, the first temple, the forest temple. I, I, you know, the next video, of course, will be me actually going through it. Yeah, I do have a little bit of troubles on the way, but, yeah. <laughs> a little bit of clumsiness on my part. I half blame on the emulator and half blame on myself. Well, just the emulator just because of the awkward control using an emulator, that sort of thing, that's all. But, I mean, let's be honest, at the end of the day, that's half my fault, anyway. Oh, well. Yeah, but I do like how you can go and visit, like, little towns if you so choose. I, as far as I can recall, you don't actually have to visit this place at all. They, they do give you a good hint on how, well, they flat out tell you how to get through the Lost Woods, but... I don't think it's actually necessary to go through here. Like, I think you can get through the Lost Woods without them telling you how. I just wanted to kind of show off the place, Whittleton. It's a nice, quaint little... Yeah, I noticed there's no women in this village, just men. How do they repopulate? You know, but maybe it's best I don't know. Uh, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> oh, Zelda, you silly goose. Bugs can't touch you, you dumb bitch. Ah, oh, jeez. As many jokes I can make about her wanting like to tap or a couple like, to tap her, but yeah, I'm not gonna go there. Yeah, I don't think there are any girls in this village. <laughs> Again, how do they repopulate? That's the pressing question here. Yeah. Again, maybe it's best I don't know. Yeah, I think yeah there are a couple like little side missions later on where you can like deliver things between settlements, you know, in the world. Uh, I, I'm not, I don't quite remember, I think you need, like, I think, like, there's a story thing, um, you know, like, a part of the story where you have, like, a little, like, container wagon thing, and after that, you can start on it, I, I believe. I, I don't quite remember. But I, I do remember being able to, like, haul stuff between locations, like, you know, and getting, like, you know, goodies for it. But I'll, you know, I'll get to that when I'm able to, so. Yeah, I, I should mention again, I do not plan on 100%ing this game. This is just a nice casual playthrough. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I just don't usually like the 100% games. Well, I mean, like, you know, for a... Well, actually, no, in general, I usually don't. Even when I'm not doing a playthrough, you know, video for it, I used to just don't. Either way. It's just not my style. Yeah, especially in games where there's, like, like, like that one little mini game where it makes it really fucking annoying to get 100% or something, you know? Or whatever, or like there's like a lot of like luck involved. You have to just keep doing something over and over, hoping you get some kind of kind of object or other prize so you can get that 100%. If 
Fuck that. I don't consider that fun. Uh, that's just tedious busy work. I don't like it. But yeah, so the chief's just kind of telling us how to go through. Yeah, it's funny. He doesn't... Wait a minute. Yeah, how come... Why don't you know how to go through the Lost Woods? You're the chief here. Shouldn't you know these things? Yeah, again, I'm not actually sure if you even had to talk to the people before, like, you could actually go through, but... I did anyway. It's pretty... Yeah, it's pretty simple. Yeah, just follow the tree branches, except for the fourth one, as I'll find out. You go the opposite direction. Yeah, I, I, I need to look into Link's voice actor. I swear he has a different voice in this game. Like, like some of the clips sound very different than, you know, Phantom Hourglass even. That was only released two years prior. I don't know, is it just me? He sounds different. You think they would just reuse the sound effect from Phantom Hourglass, but... I don't know, he, he definitely does sound like a little bit more higher pitched. Well, maybe not there, but like with the sword swings. I don't know, is it just me? I don't know. Either way, too, yeah, for some reason there's also a Lost Woods here in the new Hyrule. I don't know. Just, they just follow coupling around, I guess. Yeah, it's creepy. So does that mean there's like a, a Great Deku Tree and like a race of Kokiri here too? Or Koroks, whichever. Yeah, I always forget, Kokiri never actually appear outside of Ocarina of Time, do they? Well, outside of, like, like references, they do. Like, I think there's, like, a Kokiri Kuk outfit, like, in, I think it was Triforce Heroes, where you can, like, dress Link up in a whole bunch of different outfits. I think it was that game. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's, like, a Kokiri uh, outfit. But aside from that, I think uh, it's just Ocarina of Time. Yeah, and you know, one thing I, one race I really miss seeing is Deku Scrubs as like a civilized race. Like, like in Minish Cab, they appeared as, I don't, I don't think, we're, can you buy stuff from Business Scrubs in that game? I don't remember. But like, outside of like Majora's Mask and Ocarina of Time, there's not, they're not really much of a race. There's like enemies you get to fight a little bit for the most part. It'd be nice to see them have like their own little town or, you know, a little village or whatever in a future game. Maybe Breath of the Wild too. I'd welcome it. I have to say, though, I am kind of sick of Koroks. <laughs> I do admit it is because of that stupid, Yeah, you found me. All the, what what was it, 900 fucking Korok seeds? Ugh, fuck that noise. Never, never in a million years will I ever, ever, ever do that. Ever. Never, ever. Ugh, fuck that noise. It's awful. Oh, yeah, by the way, the camera's at a fixed angle here, in case you couldn't tell. But yeah, it's just, you know, just like the villagers said, follow the branches, except for the last one. You have to go the opposite direction. Pretty simple stuff. And there we go. So how, how do they even build a track in these? Oh, wait a minute. They did, no one built the tracks. They were placed there magically. My bad. I forgot. I forgot the lore. Excuse me. All right. Yeah, here I have I have some troubles because I keep I'm, I'm like very yeah I, I thought Zelda was gonna talk to me yeah but she always saw I'm trying to leave before she speaks up. Jeez, come on, speak up earlier, Zelda, you dumb bitch. But um, yeah, I have a little bit of troubles here because like, I keep fucking up, which I leave in just so you can watch my many failures as I ramble on about something. I'm sure. <laughs> uh, yeah, oh the Deku's, yeah, yeah, yeah. It would be nice to actually see them be like a proper like big race again at some point in the series, you know, in the future. Again, kind of like how they were in Majora's Mask. They had like a king, they had a princess, they had a palace, they had a butler. <laughs> yeah, pretty, and butler, that's pretty nice. Um, yeah, something like that. That would be pretty good to have. I mean, like even like in like Okia Time, it was pretty much just the business scrubs. You know, they, they could sell you some stuff, and they were part of like a tr little trade sequence. Or, not really a trade sequence, but you could trade things to, or, no, I think it was, you, you, yeah, you wear like a mask. I think it was like the Mask of Truth, and they'll sell you like a Deku, skip, a Deku Stick Upgrade, I believe it was. Something like that. Yeah, I don't know, it was, it was a while since I did that playthrough. Yeah, 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 great time, like 100% of that. Yeah, that's, that's like one of the very few exceptions where, yeah, I thought, I thought that would blow up the box. It's total bullshit, it didn't. Um, yeah, Go Korean Tai was one of the few exceptions I'll make of 100%ing a game. 
Yeah, or, like, if it's, like, like really, really easy to, like, 100% a game, I'll do it. Like, if it's, like, there's only, like, two or three, like, side things you gotta do. Like, I don't, I, don't, I can't really think of an example of that, but, you know. Or, hell, when I get to, like, the uh, original Legend of Zelda for an NES, like, that, that game's short enough where I could... It won't take me too long to 100% it, and, you know... It mostly is just being able to, like, find, like, you know, bushes to burn, and little, little, uh... Secret Caves when, you know, I actually have a copy of, half a copy of Nintendo Power that actually shows off everything in that game and how to get it. Yeah. I, yeah, for some reason, I don't even know what, I don't even remember where I got it from. I just had this tattered up Nintendo Power. And it just so happens to include a map of the original Zelda game and tells you where to get everything you need to find, you know. Where all the secret, you know, all the little secret caves are, how to get through the, um, you know, Death Mountain, all that stuff. Where all the heart containers are, everything. So, yeah, I'll 100% that game, because it's just so short, you know. Like, it, you know, it probably won't even tack on, like, an extra, like, it probably might, tack, like, make the playthrough, like, a video longer than it would be. And then if I just went through the game normally, you know, because, it's, again, it's just so short, it's an NES game. So... Yeah, so I, I don't see any problem with, uh... Yeah, damn it. <laughs> I get fucking... I was so close that time. Yeah, so that game, I'll 100%. If I ever get to Majora's Mask, you know, I'll, you know, 100% that game, too, just because it's my favorite game of all time, so... It deserves the special treatment. Ah, god damn it, I love that game so much. Anyway, but enough to talk about that. Let's talk about this game. <laughs> yeah, Spear Tracks. Yeah, this... Rocket, yeah, <laughs> rockets now, yeah. Let's, let's have another uh, Toon Link type game where we have, uh, where we're in space. Uh, where, uh, Link's a rocketeer or something. Yeah, let's do that. That'd be great. <laughs> I mean, yeah, Breath of the Wild was supposed to have aliens. So. That, that's so weird that Nintendo actually was like, yeah, let's have like an alien invasion in our Zelda games. Like, why would that ever get past like the like talking stage? Why, 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 who came up with that? It's so weird. Like, could you imagine if that actually happened where Breath of the Wild had actual aliens in it like that? Yeah, because it wasn't like them from Majora's Mask. It was like uh, like a big saucer and there were like actual ships coming out. There's concept art of it. It's like, whose idea was this? Oh yeah, and there's Gage with his little, <laughs> help, I'm trapped up here. I can't get down the stairs. It's not wheelchair accessible. Please help me. My afro is growing to horribly large sizes. You must cut it for me. But yeah, again, I don't think I need to explain what, what uh, the pun with Gage's name. I, I think it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, yeah, something like that. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we know. <laughs> nah, no thanks. I don't feel like it. Ooh, he plays the cello. Very nice. Yeah, the sacred cello instrument, I guess. I don't know. What makes it so sacred? Because you have it? It's pretty, that's pretty, uh, it's pretty, uh, overly prideful of you. <laughs> he's just stuck up there. He can't get down. There's stairs and then just a sheer drop down. He's, he's stuck. Poor bastard. Yeah, it takes me a little bit to get it. To get, well, I think I only, actually only I only fail once, so yeah. Yeah, thankfully uh, it, this goes a lot smoother than I was expecting. Like I was like I was worried to the point where I didn't know if I was gonna be able to play through this game because I didn't know if I'd be able to get the microphone to work properly. But no, nah, I managed to get through it. it again. I I practice a lot and I still um fail once, but it, it, things worked out better than I thought they would. Yeah, I, I'm not exactly sure how picky the game is. But, I mean, I guess just the second time I actually gave it a real try, I just listen there. <laughs> Within those boundaries, I guess. Like, I get I get what they were doing with the microphone, but I, I wish they just did buttons instead. Like, I get it, they wanted to utilize the microphone, but still. Like, I don't know, what happens if your microphone breaks? I don't know. Well, then again, what happens if all your buttons break, so... Hmm. Touché. Yeah, I started a bit prematurely. <laughs> Maybe that's why I failed, I don't know.
Well, that sucked too, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm not very good at this. I don't got any rhythm. I don't have any, like, musical, like... I, I, like, rhythm. Yeah, yeah. I'm just not good at that kind of stuff. Like, shit, I still haven't never been able to beat Rhythm Heaven Fever. I, I've never been able to beat Remix 10. I, I've tried, like, 50 times. I've never been able to beat it. That's my embarrassing secret for the video. That's a lot better. Right, right. So I was just, I was just letting the music play. Um, uh, yeah, it just kept repeating like, the same stuff. So anyway, yeah, I was just letting the music play. I probably won't do that again. It was a lot longer than I remembered it being. I think how Zelda like joined in, like she was playing a fucking instrument. Get out of here, Zelda! You can't even pick up stuff. You're a ghost. <laughs> Thank you, Zelda. Wouldn't the fact that I'm a natural mean that I played good? It, it feels redundant for her to say that. Wow, you're a real natural, and also you played it pretty well too, I guess. Okay. And then there's this song, the Song of Awakening, which is two notes. Like, really? I mean, I guess it's nice because I don't really like playing the spear flute because it, you know, utilizes the microphone. But still, two notes? That's a little weird. Yeah, that's it. Just those two notes. It's really weird that they actually have like a song that's two notes long. It's a little unusual. Again, I mean, I don't like playing the, uh, I don't like playing the spirit flute because it utilizes the mic like that, but still. <laughs> what a piss poor excuse for a song. Boo. Oh, that's horrifying. Kill it. Wait, does it have eyelashes? Oh, that's adorable. I lo oh yeah, I, I, that actually is kind of funny. It does have eyelashes. That's pretty great. Thank you, Gossip Stone, or Gossip Stone S, I guess. Mm. Thank you, Miss Gossip Stone. And there's a treasure chest I can't get to. I wonder what's inside. Who knows? All right, now if I go to the Forest Temple for the next video. But yeah, so let's see, uh, yeah, so not much really happened here. We'll learn a song, but, you know, not, nothing too majorly critical. Well, I mean, that is critical, but you know what I mean. No big revelations, no deep character moments, just learning a song. But, uh, yeah, I, I do, I really do like the whole train thing. Like, I, I think I do like it more than a boat. I think it's, I think it's, one thing is I just like trains more than I like boats. That just might be it, you know? I'm no train fanatic. I just like trains more than I like boats. That's really it. And where's that sp sculpture coming from? Like the the like the web. What's it attached to? There's just open sky up there. Uh, I guess it's like wherever Spider-Man launches his webs to. I remember when I played the um like the old Nintendo 64 game, you know, with like a Monster Ock when he got like possessed by Carnage's uh, symbiote, sy symbiote, sy symbiote, whatever it's called, symbiote. Um. Yeah, that that one. I remember, like, he would like launch his web up into the air. It's like, like as a kid, I'm like, what's he swinging on? Like, like in the levels where he's out in the open, like in the city, he would just like, you know, shoot his web upward towards the sky. Like, what's he, what's he shooting his web at? I always wonder that. Ah, well. Oh yeah, and also there's a rabbit there. I can't really do anything with that yet. But I'll, I'll make sure to go do stuff with rabbits later on. But uh. Yeah, again, not really much to say about this video. I learned a new song. Again, not too fond of the spear flute just because it utilizes the mic, and I'm just not really good at that. You know, I, I admit I am biased because I just don't really like it. So, eh. right, I'm not good at it. That's why I'm biased against it. So, you know, that, that's really it. And it's got nothing on the Ocarina of Time. <laughs> nothing could beat that. Uh, I, 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 really, I really need to pick the, like, the negative options more. They're usually really funny. 
you know, I hear that a little tune, but we'll investigate that next time. Um, yeah, not really, not much to say. Like the way the train works, I mean, the train mechanics improved a little bit. You don't have to, you know, like choose like the which way you're gonna turn every so often. You just gotta draw the path, and there it goes. Um, yeah, I can't do it. Like I think I do. I think you get a can. Yeah, you definitely get a can at some point, and then like something else else to like carry cargo with you to do like side content, and also it's part of the main story at some point, I believe. Uh, yeah. So for now, the train's pretty simple. But, uh, yeah, it's to learn the song. I messed up a little bit, you know. No big deal. So next time's going to be the Force Temple and probably not much else. So I'll see you then. Bye-bye.